Hey, my mother has never expressed to me when, if ever, um, she became interested in me as her son. That did lead me down a path of questioning my self worth and struggling to understand the value of a mother in a child's life. So basically, he's um, he's a child who's felt neglected by his mom. You know what I'm saying? He's hurt that she wasn't a mother to him, but she's a mother to the other kids. You know what I'm saying? Damn, he, he he probably want that that same type of love and compassion that she give her kid, the other kids, to him as well. You know what I'm saying? God damn, that's just crazy, bro. Yo, what's good? What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Kim One and CB, and now I'm back with another motherfucking reaction video. You know what I'm saying? Today's so gonna go to reacting to um, Monique's oldest son exposes her in response to the Monique's Club Shay Shay interview. You know what I'm saying? I saw this um, interview all on TikTok. I was like, let me um, put my input on it. You know what I'm saying? Because this shit is crazy, y'all. Man, what, whatever he's saying is true. It is wild, bro. You know what I'm saying? It is wild, bro. But um, like to be give a thumbs up, don't give a thumbs down. Kind of why we don't care just the two, you know what I'm saying? You want to see more? You ask videos to me or any other videos to me? Basically, you have to go on my channel, so check out my videos. If you look at my videos on my channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button. You know what I'm saying? Yes, subscribe. Let's get straight into this video. Let's get it. I thought he was on on, tic, on TikTok. Peace, world, M Rex for M Rex TV. We got an interesting clip right here. Monique, oldest son, Shalom, exposes why they don't have a relationship in response to a Club Shay Shay interview. Hit that like, hit that bell, hit the subscribe, watch this clip, and let's vibe. I am Shalom, Monique's oldest son, Shalom. I guess I felt the need to make this video to just provide some context into this false narrative about her praying to the universe. I had to reconcile yeah. our relationship or whatever the hell it is. Um, I wrote it all down so that way I don't go all over the place and get emotional or anything like that. I can, so I'm gonna talk like I'm reading the script. It's just gonna help me kind of stay together. Um, but uh, to address the uh, Club Shisha interview that she did where she states, and she prays to the universe in regards to reconciling our relationship, as I stated, um, is odd. Uh, my mother and I both know that that is a very false narrative, and I would like to free her of having to continue telling that lie. Faith without work is dead, and neither one of us cares to put forth any effort to reconcile with the other. Uh, we are separate, as she put it, because she doesn't care to be my mother any more than I care to be her son. Oh. Neither one of us uh, has had the desire to reach out to the other in a very long time. And I don't think that either of us anticipates that feeling ever returning. Speaking with my mother directly in my experience will either lead to some odd newfound moment of clarity in regards to how she was as my mother, or she retreats back to daddy to move forward with a conversation. And I'm tired of hearing my mother's truths um, newsflash, I'm not sure if people know, but stand, standing in your truth doesn't make you noble. Um, I'm not sure if Facts. people are aware of that. Uh, but responding this way, I feel as though it allows me to say my piece uninterrupted um, to those wondering, well, why say something now? Call it a form of therapy for me, I suppose. Um, but when her daddy had intentionally state, stated that they have three sons, but his wife is on the internet talking about the fourth son in a video that has millions of views. That rubbed me the wrong way. Um, but anyway. I really wanna know what what happened between them, you know what I'm saying? Like why she don't have no relationship with him. Way to I, I always wonder why he must be the black sheep of I love her kids, you know what I'm saying? He probably be the one that tell her what it is, you know what I'm saying? Tell her the truth about herself. You know, the other kids probably be like, 
that's yes man to that mother and shit. But he probably is telling his mama the truth about herself. You know what I'm saying? He, she probably don't like it. But she sees something in him that he don't like. But a mother and son beef is is very rare. It always be father and son beef or mother and daughter beef. But a mother and son beef, bro, that shit is crazy, bro. Man, bro. This shit is wild, bro. Let's watch this video. Inform a child that you are not interested in being a mother at a time when that kid is the only kid that has the potential to lead a child to believe that you are not interested in them specifically. Uh, but to take it a step further, <clears throat> you... But you know, some parents are intimidated by their kids. You know what I'm saying? He just made, he just uh, said something that, that sparks my interest. The way I just said before, she probably saw something in him that feared her. And she probably got intimidated by that because she know her, her son might outshine her. You know what I'm saying? He said like he, he got a, a nice head on his shoulder. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, a lot of, par a lot, a lot of people don't want to believe it, but a lot of parents see their kids as competition sometimes, or a lot of parents are intimidated by their kids. It's the sad truth for a lot of cases, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 let's watch the video. So admit, my mother had also admitted to me that she didn't do the best job that she could do. Um, she probably afraid taking her dreams. Which would also make one begin to question you should take accountability. your past decisions and prior emotional interactions. But to be completely honest and fair, um, you know, those were things that I was willing to get over. You know, nobody's perfect. We're all human. But my mother showed a clear lack of humility, compassion, and consideration when taking any level of accountability for those things. Oh. Um, my mother does a fantastic job of acknowledging a lot of things, but she doesn't take accountability very well. Mm. Anything that she may take true accountability for, it's only at her convenience, oh. in my experience. Um, but if I had to guess, though, her interest in being a mother probably started around the time that she married her daddy and had his children. Um, but that interest, you know, obviously seemed one-sided, and as it should have been. So he got another. Ch also, he must be. Oh, so this not her husband's child. He is not her husband's child because he said her daddy, like her, like like he said like her dad, like like he, like he pepper her out and shit, and he got three kids. He got she got three kids by him. He is not her kid. He, I mean, he is not his kid. So she probably treat him worse than the other kids, but treat his kid better. See, if that's the case, I hate people. I hate parents like that. You you treat one person's kid better than the other person's kid, and when it all when all these is your kids, you know what I'm saying? If that's the case, I, oh, I would look at her so different, bro. I look because I love me some damn Monique. If it's the if it's the truth that he's saying, bro. I want to get Monique in, the, in a different way, bro. Cause I love Mr. Man Monique. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, let's watch the video. Um, by that time, I'm in my late teens, so to some degree, well, the, think, yeah. <laughs> excuse me, the neglect becomes easier to uh, hide or validate. I guess you could say there are now two baby boys in the house. You know that require attention. Um, but still, during that time, however, I still watch her enjoy the love and admiration of total strangers more than my own uh to this very day my mother has never expressed to me when if ever um she became interested in me as her son that did lead me down a path of questioning my self-worth and struggling Damn. to understand the value of a mother in a child's life so basically he's um he's a child who's felt neglected by his mom you know what i'm saying he's hurt that she wasn't a mother to him, but she's a mother to the other kids. You know what I'm saying? Damn, he he, he probably want that that same type of love and compassion that she give her kid, the other kids, to him as well. You know what I'm saying? 
God damn, that shit is crazy, bro. That's sad, bro. You gonna always treat your kids equally, love them all equally. You know what I'm saying? But I know all some kids, some people kids bring the best out of people. Some people kids bring the good out of them. I mean, the worst out of them. You know what I'm saying? But damn, man. I hope they do come together and shit, bro. Cause like a, a, a parents, parents, and the child is not supposed to go against each other, bro. You know what I'm saying? Damn. Video. In the interview, she also states that she gave me an apology, but an apology to a son from a mother that consciously showed no interest in him, mm. holds no weight. Um, there are still women to this day uh, that my mother will give credit to for being more of a mother to me than she ever could. Wow. Her assistant, my cousin, being one of them. Um, every time though that my mother would state that she was right here whenever I was ready um, that ideology still blows my mind today that a person could openly admit to being an uninterested not put my best foot forward type of parent and be so self-centered that they still express to the kid you have to come to me when you're ready you gotta come to me for us to make this right <laughs> okay um, but I'm not sure what my mother could possibly think that she has shown me in the past or have for me now that's not money, goodness gracious, mm. that would money doesn't solve money everything. come to her or, or whatever. Let me show you how we do stuff around here. Actually, my department uses Monday.com, so I'm good. The work man. Whatever, that, whatever those feelings are supposed to be. Um, a mother is supposed to be the first woman that a boy falls in love with. Facts. Uh, I loved my mother. Because I love my much. I love my mom. My mother loved things more than she loved me. And she Damn. would validate her love for me by giving me things and would proceed to call me ungrateful or inconsiderate mm. if said things did not have the desired effect. Um, I couldn't imagine what it's like. I feel like it's all a misunderstanding between the two, you know what I'm saying? It's like... He, she's showing him the type, the type of love that he doesn't want. He want that real motherly love, you know what I'm saying? Not just that gift-giving mother trying to cover some shit up. He want that loving mother, like, man. Like, I just want real love from you. He, so basically, he just want real love for his mother, bro. He feel like he don't get that from her, you know what I'm saying? I feel like they, they should just communicate that stuff, like, to see a therapist or something, man. Because I feel like it's a good... It's a, it's it could be solved because it's not really it's a big issue, but it's not really a big issue. Like if they just talk it out and just um go by their actions, it's gonna be resolved, bro. Their relationship could could be very could get could, can go from being so unhealthy to healthy. You know what I'm saying? Because I see plenty of situations just like this. You know what I'm saying? With father and son. Mother and daughter, but I never saw it with a mother and son though. Cause that's a, this this was fucking my head up because I never saw a mother and son having issues like that. It's like it's kind of weird to me, you know what I'm saying? Cause every boy loves a mom, you know what I'm saying? Like man, bro, this is crazy. You know what I'm saying? If that's the video, here though, uh, to ask God for what you want, and then He gives you what you need though. Only for you to ignore and have the audacity to ask God for something else. And um, I'm glad I don't, <laughs> I'm glad I didn't do that. Um, and when he told you no, uh, you went to the universe instead. Um, you say he, he's very in tune, he's very in tune. I want to give off any type of an impression that I am a victim of, of anything. Um, I, that is not the case. As you can see, I'm smiling from ear to ear. Um, I'm alive. You I'm always be fake smiling. Bad. Um, I'm healthy, I think. <laughs> I drink a lot of water. I'm getting over a cold now. Um, drink some water days, now. Just like everybody else. And, you know, there were a few things that she did teach me along the way. Uh, I did learn how not to love from my mother. Um, mm. I also learned to make sure that I never lose so much of who I am that I have to validate it through another person. Mm. Um, and though Very important. 
you know, in hindsight, you know, I think she did it reluctantly. I do appreciate my mother, you know, for showing me what the top of the mountain looks like. You know what I'm saying? It did give me perspective on what hard work and dedication can get you, but I don't want something like that at the cost of giving up something that I created. No, I don't want. I don't want it that bad. And speaking of creations, I genuinely, truly, I really did want my mother to have a relationship with my daughter. Um, I even fought through those intrusive thoughts that were, if she wasn't interested in you, what makes you think she's going to be interested in your kid? Um, but well, low key, that's not the case of all cases, but it is the case for most cases, though. You know what I'm saying? Because your kid doesn't. Yeah, it all depends on the on the parent's mindset and how the maturity level. Like, yeah, yeah, that's the case for most cases, but not all cases. You know what I'm saying? What about the video? It took my mother no time at all to prove that those intrusive thoughts were correct. Um, but what I can say, good for her, the universe. Mm -hmm. did uh you know bless her with three other sons mm. bless her with three other sons and god willing um you know i'm sure that one of them all three of them are adults now so i'm sure that all you know one of them god willing if not all three of them will make her the grandmother that she wants to be um I'm, i look for i still look forward you know to that moment for her mm. um but overall when it comes to the boys though uh, I am happy that whenever they do hear me talk, sorry, my phone did something weird, but no, but whenever they hear me talk, um, they don't know what it is. They can't, they can't relate to what it is that I'm saying. My experience with my mother is not their experience mm. um, with our mother. Uh, so my prayer for her and them is that they continue to see her the way that they see her now. Um, I do also want to make sure that I say thank you to my mother for giving me life. Without that moment in time, I wouldn't have had my little one. But outside of that moment, there isn't anything that either of us that either of us has to offer the other. Um, in my opinion, it's a waste of God's time and the universe's time for praying for something that you are not willing to put forth any effort to obtain. Uh, putting the work into becoming Monique is more important to my mother than being my mother. And I do not believe that it was it was never about her being there and waiting for me but it was supposed to be about me being there and waiting for her um medicaid yeah, like customers said, ensure you keep your coverage take action to renew now at abe.illinois.gov my mother's value had reached such a low point in my life that I no longer found it necessary to either want to wait for her or even go to her. Um, but like I said, man, I'm super grateful that she has the opportunity to do it all over again. You know, I'm happy for her. I hope the Cat Williams tour goes well. But, you know, the narrative that she prays for us to reconcile is a false narrative. It's mm. not real. And I'd appreciate it if she stopped saying stuff like that. Yeah, I must have tricked him. When he said that shit, when she said that shit, that's like, oh, that must be the end of it, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, man. But yeah, man. I hope they do come into peace with, with them, with, the, with each other, you know what I'm saying? Because that mother and son should be beefing like that, you know what I'm saying? Nobody should be beefing with their kid or, or their parents, bro. Your, your, your parents will be the person that was to be there for you and protect you at all costs. But you know, some some parents some parents don't know how to be parents. You know what I'm saying? But if you really want to look at it in the deepest, uh, in the deeper, you want to dig deeper, she probably just wasn't, she probably was, she probably was his gateway of coming to this earth, but not to be his mother. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody got to have a purpose in this in this world, and, and also a purpose to be in your life. You know what I'm saying? You got to look at stuff in the deeper, in, in the deeper perspective. But um, but um, but yeah, man. Comment down below your thoughts about this, and yeah, you like to give a thumbs up, you don't give a thumbs down, kind of why we don't cage it too. You know what I'm saying? Subscribe to you guys next video. I love y'all. Peace out.